Yo, what's going on guys? This is your boy Poison Akami here, just me, myself and I back at it again with another video and today is a video on the second part to the advanced blocking tutorial. So, um, you guys actually did what I needed you to. You hit 1.5k views on the last blocking tutorial, so thank you very much for that. Um, so, I will deliver the next part. So, literally it's just one technique and I'll also be showing this an example in some fights I've done as well. Uh, I'll be putting it like in a little montage, but basically all it is is a way to punish your opponent like in the most ideal way possible so ever since they've taken out chakra dashing and counter hitting um i mean sorry counter chakra dashing and um counter air hitting in the game like they've taken that out entirely in storm 4 so when someone dashes you you can't no longer hit to after block or you can't dash them successfully after block they will end up blocking too um so <clears throat> there is a way around that now um I like to call it the short hop punish. It's literally where you discard, you do a short hop, and then you you know you just you just punish them um, after you hit their uh, after they hit your block, which I'll show you in just a second. Um, some people call it like the jump block, so it's literally just like jump block. Um, it does have to be like a very small jump as well. Like it has to be like this big. It can't be anything like this big or anything. Nothing nothing too huge like this. Literally just. The tiniest little jump that you can get in. Okay, so I'll demonstrate what it looks like to you. Just like that. And you get your combo off. And it works with most characters. So I'm actually doing this video in 30 frames rather than uh, 60 frames on the PC today. Because it turns out this technique doesn't work as well in 60. Like, less characters can do this in 60 frames. So I thought I would uh, go ahead and uh, show this in... Um, <clears throat> I'll get, I think I'll go ahead and show this in uh, 30 frames. But yeah, this is basically what it looks like. So there is a weakness to this. The weakness to this is the fact that your guard is weaker in the air. Because remember what I said last time in the last tutorial? Your your guard is much weaker. But yeah, as you're gonna do, I can do it with Kiba, I can do it with Eno, uh, I can do it with Sai, I can do it with all the characters on this team. Oh. So that's the thing, you gotta get the timing right, like as soon as you hit your block you wanna let go, but it has to be like a tiny hop, don't hold the X button guys, tiny hop, like just tap the X button. And you also need to practice this, that was another bad one, you just need the CPU to actually dash you properly as well. So yeah, as you can see right there, as she sweep beautifully demonstrated, um, my, my block can be easily uh, destroyed because I was blocking in the air. So please do uh, be careful that when you're using this in battles, guys, that you're actually doing this when your block is in, like, yellow to blue. I wouldn't recommend doing this when it's in red. I think the reason why it doesn't work with some characters is because, like, some characters, they lunge forward in their hits, and some don't. So, like, you know, she doesn't really, like, press forward in her, uh, in her hit. Like, she's usually standing still. Okay, I managed to get another one right there. But yeah, Eno is much harder. Like I said, some characters will be easier than others. Kiba I can do it a bit easier with. I think Sai does it the best on this team. There you go. So there's another one right there. So yeah, this is literally like the way to do it. It's literally just short hop, uh, short hop blocking and then punishing. Like I said, it works better with some characters than others. So I'll go into the character select and I can show some other characters that do it really well. Um, usually this, uh, these characters do it well as well, as for example, and then I'll be showing like a montage of other characters that do it. So guys, literally what you want to do is just like try it out with your main characters to see who can and can't do it as well. Um, like I said, Kirin Sasuke is one of the best characters for this. I think the Madara is really good. I think Pain's really good for it too. Um, but yeah. I'll try and get uh, Shane with Kirin Sasuke here. There you go. So yeah, just like that. Sasuke does it much better. So if I'm being honest with you guys, it's actually the reason why I've won a lot of situations in the past, but no one's really been able to tell me about it. They're like, oh, you know, you do this because of this. Like, there we go. So it's because of punishes like this is why I actually win quite a lot of, like, situations. Um, I've used it in, like, various tournaments. Like, I've used it in the last tournament I was in, the EU Invitational. I've also used it in the, my Hungarian tournament as well. 
Um, it's just very simple way to just win the very close combat situations. But like I said, guys, was, although this is a very advanced technique and it does help you counter your opponent and win the situation, um, you do end up having your guard at risk, like your block will be at risk of breaking a lot easier than what it would if it were on the ground. Um, so there is always that to note as well. Um, but yeah, guys, that's pretty much the, the advanced thing. Because the thing is, it's like people, they block, right? And I'm sure a lot of you, you block like this high in the air. And then you try to attack, but or you try to dash after, but you can't because you're so high in the air. By the time they get to the ground, they're safe to block again. So this is the way. So basically, this is the way to make sure that you're in plus frames by jumping about this height. As long as you're like somewhere in this height, very tiny jumps. As long as you're blocking the dash that they come at you, you're in plus and uh, you're able to attack. This also does work for the um, for the chakra dash switch as well. So this type of dash, um, it works for that as well. So I'll be showing that in my little montage. But anyway, speaking of the montage, uh, we'll cut to that now. You can see me using this in fights as an example to show that you can do this in actual battles. And uh, yeah, enjoy. Thank you guys for watching. As always, Jeanne. Heavy, I don't get it. How come I haven't hit it already? Still working, I'm still learning, I'm still searching, finally earning something, finally turning something called a profit. If I hear you talking shit, don't get caught in it. I'll be popping off and hit your ass, dropping all your shit. Yeah, I promise this, I got promises. You ain't stopping this. Cross my shit, you'll be not unconscious, bitch. That's the consequence. I got this, I will not quit. And I'm on it, honest. I'm gonna launch quick, then I'm gone. It's just a matter of time before I'm over the front and moving under my. I'm just quit my nine to five. I'm rocking, and they watching, cause it's shocking. Dropping all these top ten songs, so stopping. It's time to live my life, it's time to live my die. Wish I could slow down time and just enjoy the fire.